Well, I first heard about the Hearing Restoration Project about a year ago. You know, I was really looking around at various hearing organizations and trying to figure out where I could commit some time uh, to, to really help in this problem. And, you know, when I met with the folks at Hearing Health Foundation, they told me that chickens can regenerate hair cells automatically, spontaneously, and that you know, zebrafish can do the same thing and that they are trying to figure out how they can translate that into a mouse and then into humans. And how amazing, you know, is that, that within, they believe, the scientists believe, within a 10-year time frame, uh, we might be able to regenerate hair cells within the human ear and restore hearing for people that have lost it. And to me, that's just an incredible, incredible thing. I think that hearing loss is almost an epidemic. I mean, if you look at the numbers of people that suffer with this, and if you think about our troops coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq, 70% of them come back with hearing loss, and that's a huge impact on their life and the lives of their families. And so I'm hopeful that there will be more uh, public funding for this, but until that time, we've really got to rely on the, the private funding to get this going. Well, I have hearing loss myself, and it's definitely been a factor in my life and my family's life. It's something that has affected my father, my grandmother as well, and I think it's a problem that I can understand very well. I think it's something that's in reach. It's something that we can do something about, and why shouldn't we? I think it's a great opportunity, and uh, Hearing Health Foundation is really on the cutting edge of this.